Duplicate rules determine how Salesforce handles duplicate records, identified by matching rules. Salesforce includes standard duplicate rules for accounts, contacts, and leads. Let's look at how to alert sales reps when a duplicate contact exists. In Setup, find duplicate rules, and make sure that the standard contact duplicate rule is active. If your org was created in Spring 15 or later, the standard rules came activated for you. In Lightning App Builder, open the contact page layout or click New to create it. Make sure the potential duplicates component is included in the layout. Now, when a sales rep views a contact, Salesforce alerts her to duplicates. She can see if they contain more recent information or notes on calls by other sales reps. Sales reps can merge records they have access to. By default, duplicate rules warn sales reps when they start creating duplicate records. Suppose that one of your sales reps, Jessica, starts creating or editing a contact. She enters a name, account, and title that match a contact already in Salesforce. Salesforce shows a message with a link. Jessica can save the new contact, or she can click View Duplicates to use an existing record. You can customize the message displayed when reps view duplicates of new records. But suppose you want to stop your sales rep from creating duplicate contacts at all. Under Action on Create and Action on Edit, select Block. Jessica can click to view duplicates, but she can't save a new one. Now suppose Jessica tries to create a contact and enters data that duplicates a record she doesn't have access to. You can still stop Jessica from creating a duplicate. Under Record Level Security, select Bypass Sharing Rules. Salesforce warns Jessica and allows or blocks her according to the other settings you've selected, but the alert doesn't show information about the existing record that Jessica doesn't have permission to see. If you match across objects, or if a matching rule in your duplicate rule includes a custom field, define the mapping between fields. Finally, Let's specify that the rule doesn't run if the person entering a duplicate has a certain profile. For example, the system administrator profile. Save the rule and activate it. To learn more about putting duplicate rules to work on your data, check out these resources or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.